Hello everybody, I'm Marco Minutoli, and today with, um, with Vito Giovanni Castellana, I'll present you our uh, research on uh, SODA, an I, um, compiler infrastructure for the high-level synthesis of um, machine learning accelerators. Of course, this is not only our, uh, our work, uh, and here is the rest of the team. Uh, where Antonino is uh, the API uh, of the project, and we are working in collaboration with folks at um, Harvard, with David Brooks and uh, Guyon Wei, uh, that will uh, help us um, with the tape outs of the accelerator that we will produce during uh, the duration of, of our uh, projects. Um, so the, the idea of, of the SODA uh, compiler is to produce a, a synthesizer um, an open source synthesizer that will uh, uh, produce um, accelerators for, uh, from uh, uh, the output of machine learning, framework, uh, machine learning frameworks. Um, the approach aims at uh, combining traditional high-level synthesis methodologies with templated-based uh, approaches and um, will support the use of uh, uh, intellectual, other intellectual properties to um, specifically uh, support operation for, uh, for the workloads that we will uh, be um, uh, accelerating. Um, to start and guide our, uh, our design, we built uh, an experimental flow uh, around uh, Panda and, uh, and specifically Bamboo, which is uh, the high-level synthesis compiler inside, uh, inside the Panda framework. We have been uh, working on it for a, for, a, for a very long time. Most of us are uh, um, graduate student that worked with, uh, with Fabrizio while at Politecnico. Um, the tool support was initially designed to support C to Verilog, uh, but now as a support for other languages like C, C++, and, uh, and even Fortran uh, uh, more recently, but uh, it can also digest LLVM IR through a C line plugin. Uh, during the years, we have been uh, um, doing contributions um, in, in methodologies supporting um, complex memory interfacing and data flow architectures and uh, the synthesis of parallel specification where uh, the task-based uh, uh, parallel specification and, and for example, a dynamic scheduler to help uh, cope with the load imbalance between, uh, between the tasks. Uh, the idea here is to stitch together a sequence of uh, um, already available tools uh, to drive the design of what is going to be uh, the SODA compiler. And of course, there's going to be some cross-pollination of ideas of what we, is our past work in, uh, in Panda and what it's going to be our, our future. Um, the two flow, flows that we are currently using as a reference are uh, starting from uh, Onyx and then uh, uh, input to the reservoirs, our stream uh, compiler that then generates, for example, C, then we can uh, input in, uh, in Panda and Bamboo, and then get the accelerators uh, synthesized through, uh, through Bamboo. And the other one is, uh, it says, again, starting from Onyx, we will uh, use then uh, TBM, and from TBM we will obtain LLVMIR, and then again uh, Bamboo, and, um, uh, and then from Bamboo we'll obtain, again, uh, a very long description of the uh, accelerator. Um, we've been used this, um, this framework to experiment with the synthesis of operators and, and we are now working on uh, uh, synthesizing uh, small uh, networks. Uh, the idea is to uh, use this framework to uh, design and drive the requirements that we are using to design the, the compiler. And some of, the, uh, of these experiments have uh, led us to design this, this flow that you can see here on, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the right. Uh, the top of the uh, the top of the compilation pipeline is still coming from machine learning framework. We will have a language. Very likely, uh, we will support something like uh, uh, a description in the format of, uh, for example, MLIR, and then that that language will uh, uh, enter our compilation pipeline. And through uh, different lower the different lowering step, uh, we will perform optimization um, on the on, on the different IRs, and then we'll reach the uh, the, the high-level synthesis compiler, where um, we will use a methodology uh, exploiting, ex exploiting 
uh, templates and a library of components that are tailored for uh, the workloads that is, um, uh, I mean, the workloads that is generated by these machine learning frameworks. Um, the synthesizer is uh, implemented as a, a, an LLVM target, and the idea is to stay within the framework so that we can uh, um, build a more uh, uh, coherent and, and uh, reuse whatever is already done uh, within LLVM for uh, the optimization of these uh, uh, compilation pipelines. Um, uh, with um, uh, the output of our compiler, we then uh, follow the, the synthesis flow to generate um, whatever is needed to get to, uh, to produce uh, chiplets. And um, we are planning to close uh, the loop so that we can get synthesis results and feed them, feed them back to the compiler to drive a uh, design exploration engine uh, within the compilation tool chain. Um, now let's look at the uh, actual synth uh, high-level synthesis compiler that we are uh, we are building. Um, it is, uh, as I was saying, it is built as an LLVM target uh, in, uh, in as an LLVM backend, and we are using um, the sub-targets uh, to actually model um, the the different architectural pattern that. Uh, we can uh, we can support in our uh, synthesis flow, and we will use we will use uh, knobs like uh, features um, to trigger, for example, uh, different interfaces to memory. For example, we have a knob for the XI bus for the full bus, or we have another one for um, uh, the XI um, AXI light uh, version, and and we will use this knob to uh, guide the synthesizer um, uh, to generate whatever is. Uh, uh, the out, I mean, the, our output. Uh, initially, we started with the idea of separating what was uh, um, the uh, high-level synthesis process uh, from uh, the actual generation of the um, very log description uh, for the accelerator. And we started designing um, um, assembly, pseudo assembly-like language that was uh, a mix of instructions and, uh, and pragmas uh, trying to uh, capture what was the uh, architecture that we wanted to generate without specifying the uh, exact way in which the architecture, the, the Verilog is, is generated. Um, that will basically decouple the high-level synthesis process from uh, the actual uh, Verilog code generation part. Um, however, while I was uh, working on, uh, on designing this assembly, another community-driven uh, effort started on uh, guided uh, from Sci-Fi and, uh, and Chris Lattner, um, started looking at how we can uh, converge on a common language to describe uh, circuits, uh, starting from, uh, from Firtol, um, uh, starting from Firtol. And, and this project has been publicly announced recently as part of uh, uh, LLVM, it is called Circuit. And, and we decided then to align our effort and, and change the output of our compiler to be compliant with um, what this community effort is, uh, is currently doing. So our uh, compiler now generates um, virtual. Um, now, just to give an idea of uh, how the flow works, starting from uh, LLVM, the LLVM IR will go through uh, the steps of the backend, doing the usual steps of high level synthesis, and will map our, uh, um, our architecture over the structure of machine blocks that is uh, inside the LLVM backend. Again, the knobs that we are exposing and the, and the target that we are, that we are uh, compiling for will uh, change the shape of um, what is the output uh, of, the, of our compiler to um, properly generate the architecture. But the idea, if we make an exa the example of a finite state machine here, um, we, are mapping, we are mapping, for example, the states of a state machine with a, with a machine block in an LLVM. And, and then um, once we have built this representation, uh, we'll lower it in, uh, inside the um, as printer in LLVM into, uh, into virtual. That is actually here, here the output of, uh, of this input. 
Okay, from there, we will follow uh, the compilation flow to get to um, a very long description. Um, and now I'll leave it to uh, Vito that will uh, introduce you our architecture template library and, uh, and the uh, resource library. Thank you, Marco. So as Marco has mentioned, our uh, high-level synthesis flow is flexible enough to generate uh, multiple target architectures. So we don't stick to uh, a single uh, uh, architectural design, but we have the opportunity to basically optimize the design exploiting different uh, design concepts. Here are listed just a few of the different alternatives that we can uh, um, target. So uh, we can use uh, uh, and optimize components for uh, critical functional unit. For example, if we have uh, a tensor operator and we have a custom implementation of it uh, in hardware, we can just allocate the custom functional unit for that and those functional units can be uh, uh, customizable. Then, of course, we have the chance to proceed through a conventional HLS path, where we, for example, can generate a final state machine with data, but, and we can exploit existing solution to do that. And uh, in this, in, uh, with this approach, we can uh, also uh, employ recursive generation of components, so we can update the resource library as, uh, as we do synthesis. Another example of uh, architectural templates is some, uh, something that we call the parallel regions, where uh, we identify uh, parallel loops in, uh, in uh, our uh, internal representation, and uh, we exploit spatial replication and uh, dynamic dispatching of, uh, of the work units uh, to exploit parallelism. Some of these technologies have, uh, have been uh, already prototyped in, uh, in Panda Bamboo, so if you are willing to uh, know more and give it a try, please uh, follow the links listed here. So the, the first example of, uh, of uh, architectural template is uh, again, what we call parallel regions. So, uh, there are a lot of loop optimization that uh, we can uh, um, exploit in a naval synthesis, such as pipelining and uh, loop unrolling. However, when uh, for applications that uh, are memory intensive or memory bound, uh, this optimization has diminishing returns. So, so we have designed uh, uh, um, um, an architecture which basically uh, um, implements each uh, of the loop iterations in um, as the dedicated modules, which can interface to uh, a multi bank memory through different memory channels, and uh, this can happen in parallel. So the number of uh, of workers uh, doesn't need to be the same as the number of iterations. So we have designed uh, a dynamic task dispatcher, which basically uh, at runtime assigns work units to the different work workers available available and uh, this uh, uh, interface with the, the parallel memory controller to uh, perform in parallel memory accesses and uh, the memory controller embeds all the uh, the logic to avoid the uh, runtime conflicts on uh, on the memory channels Another thing that we are uh, investigating, which can be very uh, profitable for uh, machine learning, is uh, the, um, the usage of specu speculative functional units. So the main idea of, uh, of these particular units is that uh, they allow to reach higher frequency by splitting the, by splitting the critical path with the predictors. Every time a misprediction occurs, you pay uh, a one clock cycle uh, penalty However, still, the worst case delay is still close to the non-speculative counterpart. So in, uh, in this diagram, you can see a very simple version of a speculative uh, uh, adder, which is basically a chain of ripple carry adder, adders uh, 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 broken by uh, predictors. So uh, the behavior of these units is basically that uh, uh, from uh, left to uh, from left to, uh, from right to left in this example, 
every time a miss prediction occurs, you pay one clock cycle to fix the prediction. And all, when all the predictors are, uh, are right, then the operation is, completed, is considered completed and uh, a dump signal is emitted to notify the rest of the, of the circuit. So this, this particular technology doesn't fit well with the, the finite state machine model, which is, is inherently serial and, and doesn't really uh, fit well for uh, dynamic execution, for example, as in the case of uh, the speculative units, which uh, outputs a done, uh, a done signal. And to cope with that, we can use uh, um, something that we have developed over, um, over the years, which is uh, a data flow uh, controller, which is basically able to uh, execute dynamically the different uh, operations without the need of a fixed schedule, as for example, is imposed in uh, an FSMD. So uh, at a very high level, how this works is that we uh, map operations to execution managers, which basically collect at runtime all uh, the the dependencies uh, that uh, uh, steer the execution. And uh, uh, once, that, um, once all the dependencies are satisfied, basically they uh, start the execution of the operation and uh, um, basically um, steer the, the, the interconnection logic in case, for example, uh, in which you have um, uh, sharing of uh, modules across different operations. Sharing is managed by resource managers, which are basically arbiters that avoid uh, structural conflicts at runtime. So once we've generated the, the Verilog, then we um, are basically interfacing with the multiple synthesis backend, backends for the, the logic synthesis of the designs. And uh, we currently have two main targets for the synthesis. One is based on uh, commercial tools, and, the, uh, and another one is basically interfacing with the, the open road suite, and, uh, which is, uh, which is a, an open source project that uh, embeds different tools. And, and uh, we exploit part of this synthesis backend to characterize the resource, the resource library. And uh, the, in this process, we uh, generate course metrics uh, so, for example, the latency of a functional unit, the number of cells, and a power estimate to feed back uh, into the synthesis pro in the, into the high-level synthesis process, for example, for module binding. In, uh, in the flow on, um, on the right side of the slide, uh, I depict the, um, the characterization flow with, the, with open road. Basically, the component very log file is uh, lowered using Yosis, which generates a gate level uh, Verilog uh, implementation of the, of the design. And then this is fed to open road for from panning and placement. Once the, we extract the uh, estimates from open road, we then update the, uh, the Verilog description with the uh, uh, additional uh, uh, characterization features. So, uh, in this project, we mostly focus on uh, ASIC design, but we are also um, thinking about uh, uh, potential uh, interesting uh, targets. Of course, uh, uh, FPGAs are in our hearts, but we are also looking at uh, uh, emerging architecture, uh, architectures, such, for example, uh, uh, coarse grained reconfigurable arrays. So we, we are building uh, a target in the sort of synthesizer to support that. And uh, at, a, at, a, at a very high level, basically what we uh, generate is uh, um, a design composed of several tiles interconnected through a network on chip and uh, as, um, a multitude of memory, of memory banks. And uh, this can also be uh, data buffers if uh, needed by the application. And uh, this approach is able to support different uh, uh, device targets. 
in addition to that, we are, we are building a, a design space exploration engine, which takes in account for uh, uh, application domain um, um, information for uh, optimization. For example, uh, we, are, we can uh, to, uh, tune the tiling and uh, the vectorization factors based on uh, high level loop transformation. And uh, at uh, a lower level, we can do optimizations on uh, the data flow graphs for example, data flow graph fusion to uh, basically uh, collapse uh, smaller units into complex functional units. Finally, for evaluating the hardware and, uh, <clears throat> and the generation process, we have uh, uh, an analytical model uh, for uh, estimating power, area, and timing. But of course, we are still able to uh, generate synthesized algorithms from the estimation and evaluation from there. And uh, this concludes our uh, presentation. And uh, thank you for uh, listening to us. And uh, I hope we will have the chance to chat later and uh, address any questions that you may have. Thank you.